Hurricane Go tonight. Many people were cleaning up after a tornado hit North Providence and Lincoln. The tornado was rated as an EF1 with winds between 90 and 100 miles per hour in Lincoln. Now, we went back to Riata Drive today to see how those living there have bounced back. One homeowner told Eyewitness News it's taken almost a year to return to normalcy. You know, it's just been a lot to get everything going. Going back and putting things back to where they were. And it takes a while. Even though it was a small tornado, it, it, was, it was big for us. With much of the cleanup and home restoration done, many that we spoke with say they will never forget that storm. And meteorologist Tori Goshi continues our coverage of the one-year anniversary online, which includes one homeowner's experience dealing with the insurance company and what wasn't covered. That's right now on WPRI.com and the WPRI 12 news app. And remember that last year when that just came right in. Yeah, I remember we broke into local programming to give viewers the warning of the storm. And we have a viewer photo of that storm a year ago. You know, it's a very unique thunderstorm that can produce a tornado. It's called a supercell thunderstorm. This is a photo from Mike Cohey. Now, this is looking off towards Lincoln in North Providence. This is the Meza, this is the Supercell Thunderstorm Complex, which in itself is, is very impressive. And right there on the horizon is actually the funnel cloud, the tornado touching the ground. Getting even a close up look at it. And right there, that is a bona fide EF1 tornado. So the, you know, the rotating air within that funnel last year, anywhere from 90 uh, to 100 miles per hour. A lot better today. After some showers early this morning, boy, what a beautiful uh, late morning and afternoon. Look at downtown Providence. Skies are crystal clear. There's not a cloud to be found. Picked up uh, on average about a half inch of rain late last night and into uh, early this morning. We take a look at the, uh, the high temps today. And, you know, 61 uh, is the average high and uh, we topped out at 69 degrees so close to 70 and the early morning low temperature was pretty mild as well at uh, 57 degrees so clear and dry for tonight a, a beautiful Thursday on the way we may not hit 70 but it'll be pretty warm for this time of year or mild temperatures topping out at least in the mid 60s even Friday at least the daylight hours it looks pretty good we may get a couple of showers late Friday night meaning probably after midnight so your Friday evening look, looks okay and still going with that 50 50 week Weekend with Saturday being the pick day and some rain, unfortunately, on Sunday. Satellite photo shows the cold front that came through early this morning with some showers as well offshore. Behind that, high pressure right in here. Fair weather system. You note the absence of clouds around the high. This belongs to us for Thursday, giving us abundant sunshine all day long and even most of Friday looking pretty good. We'll get in real close and we'll walk you through it hour by hour starting off this evening and overnight as temperatures under clear skies dropping down to about 40, 45. 7 o'clock in the morning, a typical early morning October chill. Nothing too unusual. Starting off in the low 40s. Sunshine gets to work. We're looking at 60, 65. Tomorrow afternoon, ultra nice. Tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, we're in the mid to upper 50s. Then later tomorrow night at 11 o'clock, still clear and lower 50s for temps. Tomorrow morning, sunshine, cool and dry. Sunrise temperatures are in the 40s. will rise through the 50s to eventually 60, 65. Just an A-plus perfect day. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 65. We're setting the sun now, of course, during the 5 o'clock hour at 551. All right, seven day forecast. Friday, at least the daylight hours, looking okay. It's a cloud sun mixture. I mean, temperature is pretty nice. We're looking at about 64 degrees. We'll bring in some scattered light rain showers, but not until later Friday night. They're gone just in time for a dry Saturday, so that's your pick day. And then by Sunday, cool temps continue. And you see a shield of rain that'll be working in uh, by the afternoon and evening hours. It'll be cool and breezy with temperatures in the uh, middle to upper 50s. And then things dry back out for early next week on Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday with readings in the low 60s. So great day coming up for tomorrow. Friday uh, day and even Friday evening looking okay. Your showers from much later Friday night. They're gone by Saturday. And then uh, kind of rainy, breezy, and cool on Sunday. That does mean a, a wet Patriots game, Mike, as well. But, you know, when you're 7-0, it doesn't make a difference if it's raining or snowing. <laughs> You always get the W, right? You Tom, Tom's going to be ready. Yeah. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphone and on your tablets as well. I mean, tomorrow, much like today, maybe a shade cooler, but still mild for this time of year. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Tony. Yep.